All right, this is the Marcus landslide, and about half a million years ago, we know that there was a steep wall of rock right behind us at this part of the McDowell Mountains called East End. And what most likely happened was that the surface was collecting a lot of water through joints and fractures and abundant vegetation during the Ice Age. It would have collected a lot of water and it would have saturated the slopes up there to a maximum point where it couldn't hold any more water. And then something would have set it off, maybe a bolt of lightning or just simply just too much water. And it would have started right up there in the pocket. There's a bowl feature up there on the, on the McDowell Mountains that is the site of where the collapse started. And it would have collapsed as one entire unit and came out of that bowl is this massive singular object of loose debris and fell down and went over a ridge or a fall zone of solid bedrock and fell down onto the slope and then came down as this massive body of loose boulders, sand, clay, and large boulders, some of them up to one to 150 feet in size, in length. This is the second largest landslide in Arizona that's been discovered in recent years. It's uh, roughly a 1,500 feet drop down from the top of the east end down to the bottom of the valley floor, and it's roughly about a kilometer long. Marcus landslide has the potential to fail again, and we've seen in the last 10 years little small associated landslides and rock falls in the landslide itself just in the last 10 years. So it, the potential for these kinds of mass wasting or, or slope failures is still present today.